Okay. Uh, this is the September 11th meeting of the Council Operations and Ethics Committee uh, to consider Resolution 63-9119-R, amending the rules uh, of procedure with regard to the sponsorship of legislation. Um, members present, myself, Richard Conti, uh, Council Member Igo, and Council Member Anani. Um, and staff, uh, Michelle Andre. Uh, so a quick summary of the resolution. Uh, the resolution amends our rules uh, to allow the president pro tem to assign sponsorship of legislation submitted by the mayor or an executive agency to a standing committee of the council, um, which has jurisdiction of the subject matter for introduction. Uh, and in such cases, the chair of that uh, committee would act or uh, be responsible for managing council consideration of the legislation. Um, it doesn't preclude um, any legislation submitted by the mayor or an executive department by, uh, from being assigned to an individual member of the council. Uh, but more likely, this deals with areas where uh, a member would not want to readily introduce certain proposals, such as fee and fine legislation or budget legislation, things like that that the mayor might submit, uh, in which case it would read, um, if it was a budget piece, it would be read something like, you know, uh, introduced by the uh, Committee on Finance, Taxation, and Assessment uh, at the request of the mayor or uh, something along those lines. Um, so that is, and it's, I believe it's similar to a practice used by the county legislature uh, where they have committees that actually introduce uh, legislation versus individual members. And of course, any member that develops their own legislation um, that would be so theirs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that, that's basically it. Um, and uh, it'd be good to have this in place before we get any budget related legislation. Any questions? No, I agree with you. Okay. I just don't right. remember why we didn't do it then. Uh, what, I did have this proposal yeah, yeah. a while back, and for some reason, I don't remember what happened. It got bollocks. I don't know. Someone was raising. It was a time when there was a little bit more turbulence on the council. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, if there are no questions, then there is no I one. Oh, go ahead. No, I have not. Oh, okay. If there are no questions, then. Uh, no one present for a public comment. Uh, I guess I'd entertain a motion to make a now, report it out. Does, it does come from the mayor. Yep. Okay, or whatever I say, planning. Mm -hmm. and it does pertain to that person's ward. They can request to go on yes. by the mayor or whatever. Yeah, okay. it does not preclude yeah. uh, anything. Um, so I, I would think an example in terms of um, you know, something that might come from the planning department that relates to a rezoning of certain property. For example, we have one pending right now uh, that Mr. Johnson is carrying. Uh, you know, that could be introduced by the member whose ward impacts, or if it's something that that member doesn't really want to do, it can be introduced by the planning committee on, uh, on behalf of the planning department. So. Right, it doesn't preclude um, anyone, any member from sponsoring a, a departmental piece of legislation. Because in the past, he had a sponsor one for me right. many years ago. Yes. It was so controversial. It was a controversial and piece. And the same, same lots coming up now for rezoning. Yep. Yep. But right after, mm -hmm. you know, we negotiated really with the planning department saying, no, it's going to be single family mm -hmm. homes now, they're looking for a rezone. Mm -hmm. And I just talked to my person and I said, my fear is that if uh, they rezone it, and then the BZA could go and give it two more stories, give a variance for it. Uh, uh, possibly. She, she said, oh, they could do that. Said, oh, that's, you know. So, so I, anyway, there was uh, did I? Yeah, I just have a quick question. Sure. As it relates to the trash fee. Uh, yes. Oh, and any, I don't know any time what, dealing with a fee. Yep. This legislation would put the onus on the administration to find a sponsor for that legislation. No. Or would it just give it to? It would, the actually, you know, the way it right now is that um, departmental legislation is put on the agenda and basically then the president pro tem assigns sponsorship. Um, ordinarily, what I would do is assign sponsorship to the chair of that committee. 
uh, unless it relates to a specific ward or something else, but that would be the, you know, the way I would do it. Uh, in this case, uh, the, if, if there's a proposal like that the mayor puts on, no one wants to sponsor it, it will be sponsored by the committee on behalf of the mayor. Gotcha. So, any other questions? No, it was a separate piece of legislation, wasn't it? What? We took it up in the budget, but it was a separate piece the, of legislation. The uh, yeah, it was a separate piece because it had to amend the law. Um, it was a local law that had to amend the uh, solid waste provisions of the city code and to authorize and Jordan, the fee. Did you end up doing it? Uh, I actually ended up sponsoring the original one back in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, which you know no one else wanted to. And then the uh, the amendment we did for the budget last, last time, time, I believe she sponsored it. So. Yes, sir. So I'll make a motion to move it out of committee. Okay. A favorable recommendation. There's a motion by Mr. Anani. Second. Second by Mr. Igo. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion is adopted and the resolution is reported. Do I hit stop? Yes.